Misfits Season 3. Well, what else can I say about this season other than it was disappointing compared to the last two seasons? Season 1 in particular. I couldn't help thinking that it just could have done better in so many ways. And as a film student myself, I guess I kind of picked up on more things than other people have done. However, I have looked around at some other fan sites and people have made the same comments that I've made. And yeah, if someone like me, a 20 year old, can figure it out, then I'm sure an adult writer can. Right? Evidently not. Number one. Characters. First of all, most noticeably, we've got the change of character between Joseph Gilgan and Robert Sheehan. Of course, Nathan's character was one of the best highlights and entertainment aspects of the show. However, he has kind of gone, which kind of leaves the whole series in a bit of a crap situation, and many fans would agree. And many people think that the show is pretty much just going to go down the toilet now, and some other character, like Simon, is going to take the wheel and become the main focus point. However, by the end of the series, he gets killed off, so what the hell? But anyway, back to Nathan, one of my personal favourites as well. But how can he not be? He's rude, hilarious, and just a downright awesome character. However, as I said before, Joseph Gilgan kind of replaces him with the character with Rudy, even though they've, the writers have said they haven't replaced him, they've just brought in a new character, but I can see kind of where they're coming from, but at the same time, they kind of have just replayed, replaced him with another comedy character who's just a gross, loudmouth, pretty much. And Joseph Gilgan does it to some extent, like, he, he makes a good try, he, you know, he puts effort at it, at it, but he, one, for one, looks too old for the part, he just looks like he's 40. I personally don't really think his character fits that well, he just sort of, they've just brought in a, a strong character after two series just to replace the main focus point, and it just feels really odd, and it doesn't really work. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like Joseph Gilgan, I've actually met, met him in person, um, uh, he's a great guy, I've spoke to him a bit, and yeah, he's, he's nice, there's nothing wrong with him, and he's a good actor, and I'm used to seeing him in things like This Is England, which again is fantastic, he does a very good role in that. However, he just doesn't quite cut it for me in Misfits, I don't know if any of you will agree or disagree, but that's just my opinion. As far as the other characters go, in terms of Simon, again, another one of my favourites, he just wasn't what I thought he was going to be like in this next series. I really thought his, his character development was going to be really, really focused upon, and instead they've sort of gone with Rudy more than him, because I guess he's, you know, he's the new guy on the block, but Simon really needed the focus, especially if he's going to become Super Hoodie in such short time. Simon's character is an amazing one. It's probably one of the best in the series out of all the characters that are there because his transformation has the potential to be fantastic. In season three, it just wasn't covered enough and when it was covered, it was, to be honest, weak. By the time it actually just got to the end of the series with Alicia dying and he ends up going back in time, you know, filling out his destiny and all that, it just felt rushed, and I was really disappointed, and I was expecting a lot more, and I was thinking it'd be really epic to, you know, build up the tension, like in season two. He was saying to Alicia, you know, a lot happens between now and then, when he says he's come back from the future. And I was thinking, when I first heard that, that means, oh my god, there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen you know, up until then, but throughout season three, there's, to be honest, not that much that happens. I mean, the main eventful thing that happens that seems pretty catastrophic is the whole Nazi chaotic conundrum thing. But even still, that didn't even technically happen because it was fixed when Kelly went back in time, which is another thing I'm going to talk about, which is screwed up. Um, so yeah, that that nothing really much happened, I don't think, in Season 3. I mean, there was a bit, but not as much as there have been in the past two series, so... 
been a shame, basically. It's a shame. Would have liked to have seen more Simon becoming more awesome tacular. Alicia. Not only is she amazingly hot, but she's really relevant and really important for the development of Simon's character. And I think this is portrayed really well, up to a point. I think I've got to hand it to Alicia's actor and character, because she was probably one of the best actors and characters in this third series. Kelly. Not only my least favourite character in the entire series, but I still find her annoying even in the third series, and even more so in the third series. Now that Nathan is gone, and that Simon is... Simon's character is coming to an end. I can't help but think and notice that a lot of more of the focus is on her character, which I hate. She's really chabby, as it's quite obvious to see. I just find a lot of what she does is pointless, not funny, and just generally irritating. Seth. Now this character I really liked from the start. I thought, as soon as I saw him, this guy looks and acts awesome. And I really got a good sense that he was mysterious, you know, dodgy, kind of can't trust him kind of guy. And I liked that about him. I thought, you know, he could be a really good potential bad guy for the series maybe later on. However, thanks to season three, they've now made him more of a main character and a good guy and he's now got all emotions and he's with Kelly and it's all just soppy you know Hollyoaks kinda crap it just completely takes a dump on the whole scenario and it really really ruined a good opportunity I was hoping for Seth to you know turn bad or something or have secret motives I mean I know he had the whole thing with his girlfriend but that I mean, you, you could just have the girlfriend thing, but then maybe that could tip him over the edge. I mean, I was hoping that he would do some kind of, you know, absorb loads of powers, and then it turned out he could actually use them himself, and then become, like Simon said, with the whole Superman reference, and become, you know, supercharged, you know, 15-powered guy, and start taking over the place and killing people. That'd be awesome. Great, great big finale for a series, and that'd be fantastic. I mean, that's a way better way to go for, you know, the reason Simon had to buff up, tough up, and then go back in time. But, oh well, I guess it's happened now, and it's ruined an opportunity. Curtis. I like his character. Always have. However, in series three, I don't know what went through the writers' minds, but they just rip into the poor guy. I don't know what it is about him, I hope it's not a racial thing, but it's, it's just so harsh. As in, not only has, did he have an awesome power to start off with, the whole turn back time thing, but now he's got changed genders, which is kind of weird, but at the same time, I guess I can see where they're coming from with the whole second chance thing, it is racing, but that doesn't exactly end well, it's like one episode's worth and it's over. Apart from that though, it's pretty pointless and just makes more of a you know a trait rather than an advantage for him. Not to mention the occasion, I think it was in an earlier episode, uh, where everyone was going on about how bad he was in bed and and it, it, they were just proper laying into him. And it's like, wait a minute, let's back up it, back up a second here. He was with Alicia for quite a while and there was no complaints there up until suddenly in season three. And he was with that, oh, I can't remember her name now, but she was with that other girl that was in season two that was a cool character that could teleport. What happened to her, I don't know. I guess they just sort of thought we'd forget about her. But yeah, the, he's had he's had a bit of a colourful history throughout the series. He's had two hot girlfriends and there's been no complaints until suddenly now. So I wasn't quite sure why they did that. So I feel kind of sorry for his character.